Howdy everyone, welcome back to Random Things. I'm James. Today I'm going to another craft video slash review. On my last shorts, I showed you a wooden castle I found at Walmart and asked you guys want to review it. Got a couple likes and thank you for the person who actually commented and said yes. So, freaking got it. Not only that, I found out they had a house too. Now, I'm going to put this one off camera and I'll set up the camera at it, trying out a new angle and I'll put this one together on camera and kind of talk about it. Um, so these are from Hello Hobby. Um, according to the thing, little thing on the bottom, this is actually Walmart's house brand. Um, I work at a Walmart and I've been noticing this brand coming in lately. So it seems like they're, I guess, trying to step up their craft game, maybe compete with like Michael's and Hobby Lobby. This is cool because they used to not have cool stuff like this. And there's actually a Car 1 2, I think a Butterfly, but I didn't get them because I think I'm going to try to mod these to um, use on the tabletop eventually, if I ever make enough stuff. But to that later. So I'm going to go put this one together and then set this one up. And I will talk to you guys later over to the random desk. Okay, so while that's going on in the background, let's talk about them. Um, so these were kind of pretty fucking disappointing. I'm not going to fucking lie. Six bucks. They're cool. They're big. <clears throat> I'll throw some photos up later on. They're so done. But let's talk about the castle first. So, um, the castle, the instructions were actually really good. <clears throat> I don't know if it shows in the time lapse, but... The instructions were actually stuck with glue to, not glue, like, like, like hot glue type sticky shit, to the wood. It actually pulled off part of the instructions and left some spots on the wood. And some of these were actually on where some of the, the wood was supposed to pop off, so that was fun. Um, the laser cutting on it, all the pieces came out actually pretty smooth. Um, didn't really, I used a knife for some pieces just because they were small. Um, some of the pieces came out too much, and they actually fell out on their own when I opened them. Um, some of them came off, but some of them didn't come off clean. I left little wood slivers, um, so that's kind of annoying. Um, now, the putting together part was actually fairly straightforward. Um, I noticed the instructions or something where they want you to put some pieces up, and then the next step is to put other pieces up, but I had to basically undo the previous step then put the pieces from like the next step on and then go back and put this from the other piece i take them back off back on because that made the most sense but the biggest problem i have with this thing is that there really is no clutch power the pieces fall apart just sitting there just fall off there's tabs and slabs and stuff and it says in the instructions that when you're done glue stuff together you would probably need to glue this thing together as you do it and that's how bad some of these pieces were not a, like like you know I'm not gonna say don't get it because of that maybe I got a bad one but if you're planning to put this together and then say take it apart and then repaint it or like you know paint it you know in pieces yeah they should have been more they should they should stick together I've, I've had these similar things from like the dollar store and the pieces put together too well and they're hard to get back apart but this you know six dollar one no clutch power a little disappointing um same thing for the door the big ass door um it just kind of sits there it's not attached to anything there's like these really weak draw i guess they're supposed to be like the chains or like the draw bridge like the rope or whatever and it just barely sits in there like you really do need to glue this together and this being an expensive kit didn't actually come with glue now all the cheap dollar store sets i've ever gotten at least came with a little bit of glue even it's just elmer's glue so this is more expensive one uh, a little bit disappointed in that department. Um, even when I got together, I had to pick it up all together. I had pieces just kind of fall off. So, a little disappointing. But all in all, which I'll throw up here in a second, all together, and you're not having to move it around, I think it's pretty cool. The little heart windows are a little weird. But all in all, it's actually pretty cool. Pretty sizable. They see it there with a, next to a Lego figure for scale. The castle is actually pretty big. My issue is with how easily it falls apart without glue. Um, I wish I would have said you need glue or came with glue. 
So if you had bought this, thought, oh, it's a cool kit, just going to throw it together, you'd be a little disappointed. You might have to go and get new glue, which to me bumps this down to what, maybe an eight or a nine out of ten. So pretty cool. Um, I'm hoping to eventually glue it together. I don't know if I'm just going to paint it or if I'm going to freaking, you know, get foam out and, and do something with it. I don't know yet. It's kind of disappointed. I got pretty pissed off with it during it. But all in all, now on to the house. Yeah, I didn't like the house much either. If, not going to lie. Um, the house had this... Well, for one, the house is... I'll throw up in a second. But the instructions for two different types of instructions. The castle had more Lego where it's like, here's these pieces, put them together, then they go on to the next step. And basically the house was basically, hey, here is... um. Each tab is tab A, B, C, D, E, and then you attach it to the matching tab over here. Um, instead of an actual like picture instructions, which is weird. It's a smaller model. I don't know why it couldn't have fit on the page. They're very weird. I kind of didn't even use them. I just looked at the pictures. Um, luckily for this though, it actually has a whole base to sit it on, which I think is pretty cool but it had its issues too um i don't know if it's warped or whatnot but trying to get the sides of the house to stay together was such a huge pain um it's basically only being kept together because it kind of had to force pieces and then when you force the roof on and then force another piece of the roof on that it, it kind of like forces it all together and that's the only reason that it is like staying together it's not its own clutch power basically because something on there is on a warped or whatnot and it's basically being forced to stay together but i'll say though it once the roof goes on it's pretty damn stable it, i'm not really worried about it falling off um i think i've had the base fall off once and that was because i kind of propped it open to get some i had thrown into the window out and it didn't go back straight but a little bit of adjustment and it popped right back in and it, it's of the two it's the most stable um, I also like the size of it. There's a Lego figure next to it again to see get the scale. Pretty cool. But the biggest thing, and this is what's really pissing me off, is that there's a piece of trim that goes in the archway in the front and the back and a chimney. And they do not go on. They have to be glued on. Like there's no tabs for, hey, it sits here. Like, and once again, this one does not come with glue. So literally, you cannot complete this without buying extra stuff. And to me, that should be noted. Hey, you need glued for this because you go home thinking, oh, this is a complete thing. And you get home and said you can't even complete it because there's pieces that you have to glue together. And furthermore, these pieces don't even have tabs to help keep them together. So you're going to have to freehand glue the chimney together. It's like five pieces that you just kind of have to hope you get right. And there's no real pictures of, hey, which side goes here, which side goes there. So on that aspect, mm, this one got so close. It was so much better than the, the, the castle, but, oh, man, just fell short. And, you know, this being a Walmart brand, you know, and almost Walmart house stuff isn't, I guess, the highest quality. It's not the lowest quality. It's kind of the middle ground for affordable. Ooh, I was expecting more. Um, as I said the intro, they have a car. The car looks complicated, and I would be scared to try the car after trying these two. Like, these are basically boxes with windows. Like, ooh, man. So I'd give the house an 8 or 9 out of 10, too. These kits, all in all, I know I've been complaining about them. They're, they're cool attempts. They basically, have, like, once they're together, and if you were to get glue and extra stuff, they're cool little kits. They're, they're pretty big for the size. I'll admit, you know, you could have fun. With the castle, I might cut some pieces off to make a small little fort or something out of it. But all, you know, and it'll look good on the table. I think a little bit of paint and markers and stuff and a kid and adult together would have a lot of fun with this. It scales well with Lego if you you know want to play your little action figures, if you have miniatures. All in all cool, but just not quite there to be badass but all in all guys that's my opinion on it um, I would love to hear what your guys' opinion on it if you picked up these 
Um, if you guys want to see me waste my time doing the car or the butterfly, um, let me know. Maybe somewhere down the line, I'll waste my money on it. Um, but that's all I got, guys. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Um, I really do appreciate it. If you guys like this content or like to see me get different stuff, see me get better equipment so I can make better videos, please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. I'm a, I'm a newest channel and every bit of support helps guys. Um, I do have eight plans I want for this channel, but that relies on getting feedback from you guys. So if you guys get you know, a small click for you guys, big help for me. I would sincerely appreciate it. And with that guys though, I'm going to call it here for the day. I hope you guys have a good one. And I will see you guys next time.